All right, this is pre-algebra test review 1A. So I'm gonna go step by step through these problems and if you have any additional questions, my email is listed below. The first one says evaluate 4G plus three for G is equal to three. Plug it into the expression and then solve. Okay, so I'm gonna write my original problem, 4G plus three, G is equal to three, so I'm gonna plug it in <clears throat> and then four times three plus three is my new expression. Using my order of operations, I do multiplication first, which is four times three is 12, plus three, 12 plus three is 15, okay? No equal signs in expressions, no equal signs. The next one is evaluate two times the quantity 10G plus two M for G is equal to six and M is equal to three. So I'm gonna write my original problem. <clears throat> two times 10G plus two M, okay? And G is equal to six, so that's me plugged in there. And M is equal to three, that's going in here. Okay, so if I write it again, I have two, 10 times six plus two times three. Using my order of operations, I do what's in the parentheses first, and then I multiply first. So it's two times 60 plus six. <clears throat> two times 60 plus six is two times 66, which is 66 times two, 12, Okay, my one, 13, 132, and that's my answer. The next one, translate four minus the quotient of 12 in Y into an algebraic expression. Okay, so I need to make this, this is a word phrase, and I need to turn it into an algebraic expression. So I'm gonna break it down. Four is just four, minus is minus, and then the quotient of 12 and y is 12 divided by y. And that is your answer. The next one, we are going to place these numbers in order from least to greatest. The way I like to do this is to draw a number line, okay? And this is zero. So negative 21 is gonna be over here, or negative 22 is gonna be over here. Negative 18 is gonna be over here. 22, and then 41, because we're going from least to greatest. So if I write these numbers in order, it's negative 22, negative 18, 22, 41. Next one, same thing. Draw yourself a number line. This one actually has zero. Okay, so 19 is gonna be here. Negative 19 is gonna be over here. Zero, 27, and then, didn't leave myself enough room. <coughs> Oops. And then negative 28 is over here. So writing these in order, I would have negative 28, negative 19, zero, 19, 27. Notice I'm putting a comma in between all of these to separate the numbers so they don't run together. Next problem, add seven plus a negative 19 and show your work. Okay, showing your work can kind of be hard with addition, but there's several ways that we learned how to do it. The first way that I'm gonna demonstrate is with the chips, okay? So, I have seven positive chips. And I have 19 negative chips. Okay, and the goal with this is to make zero pairs, right? So the goal is every time you cross out a negative one, you cross out a positive one. So there's that, those are gone. Those equal zero, those equal zero, those equal zero, same thing. So I crossed off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven positives and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven 
negative. So what's left that hasn't been crossed out is my answer. So 7 <coughs> plus negative 19, oops, that was bad, is negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, another way you could think of this is the sign, um, you ask yourself, are the signs the same or are they different? Well, 7 is positive, 19 is negative, so they're different. So you take the bigger value, which is 19, minus 7, which is 12, and you keep the sign of the bigger absolute value, which is negative, and that makes it negative 12. So now we're going to evaluate the expression 41 plus d plus a negative 7 for d is equal to negative 7. So I'm going to write my original problem. 41 plus d plus a negative 7. And I'm going to plug in d equals negative 7 for d. So that gives me 41 plus negative 7 plus another negative 7. So it's all addition, so it doesn't matter the order in which you do it. <clears throat> I'm going to do this part first the negative 7 plus a negative 7. The signs are the same, so I can keep the sign, and I just add. So it ends up being negative 7 plus negative 7 is negative 14. Then I have 41 plus negative 14, okay? Which is really the same thing as <coughs> 41 minus 14, which is 27. The next is subtraction with integers. So we have negative 6 minus a negative 15. Okay, if you want to use the KFC method, we keep, then we flip, and we change. So we keep the negative 6, <coughs> we flip the sign, and we change that to being positive. So it ends up being negative 6 plus 15. If I want to show it using the chips, you have six negatives. Let me make this bigger. You have six negatives, 15 positives, okay, I got to cross off the same amount of each. Oops, that's big. Okay, so cross, cross 2, cross 3, cross 4, cross 5, cross 6, and I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, a positive 9. You could also see that the signs are different, <clears throat> so I take the bigger number, subtract the smaller number, and keep the sign of the number with the larger absolute value, which is 15, and that's positive. So that's why it's a positive 9. Next one, we are going to find the product of negative 5 and negative 12. Okay, if our smiley face method, if our eyes are closed, our nose is fine. So negative 5 times negative 12 is a positive 60. Next one says find the quotient and show your work. Okay, so negative 25 divided by 5. Again, the smiley face method works for multiplication and division. So when your face is trying to wink, your nose gets all crinkly, and your answer is negative. So 25 divide, negative 25 divided by 5 is negative 5. Okay, now we're going to evaluate the expression, the absolute value of negative 25 plus the absolute value of 5. Now you know the absolute value will always be positive. Okay, so the absolute value of 25 is 25. The absolute value of 5 is 5, and your answer is 30. You must remember that the absolute value will always be positive. The next one, evaluate absolute value of negative 31 minus the absolute value of 18. So, oh, stop, go back. So I want you to start by writing the original problem 
and evaluating the absolute value. So the absolute value of 30, negative 31 is 31. I gotta keep this sign, and then the absolute value of negative 18 is 18. Okay, and then 31 minus 18 is 13, and that's your answer. All right, thrown in a word problem. Your bank account has $189 in it now. You write a check for 45, and then you make a deposit of 62. Write an addition expression using an integer to represent the check that represents an account withdrawal. Okay, so what's that mean? We have $189 in our bank account. That's what we start with. We write a check for 45, so we're giving somebody $45. So we're losing $45, okay? But then I make a deposit, which means I'm putting money into my account. So I'm adding money of $62. So write an integer, addition expressing using an integer to represent the check that represents an account withdrawal. So I have 189, I subtract 45, it gives me 144 plus 62. is 206. So using the information in number 13, how much is in the account? That is 206. <clears throat> All right, evaluate the following problems. These are simple, simple, simple addition, multipl multiplication, division, and subtraction integer rules. You must know these. They will never go away as much as you don't want is what as much as you want them to. Okay, so negative 6 plus 18. Signs are different, so I have to take the uh, um, 18 minus 6, which gives me 12, and I keep the sign of the larger value, which is positive. Okay, 8 times negative 8. Negative times a positive is a negative. 8 times 8 is 64. Next one, 12 divided by negative 4. A positive divided by a negative is negative. So 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. <clears throat> 5 minus negative 4. If I want to keep flip change, I keep. I flip and I change. 5 plus 4 is 9. You can also notice that if there's... Oh, go back. Ooh, that if there's two negatives next to each other, you can make a cross and make those a positive. Next one, 25 plus negative 25 plus negative 2. My signs are the same, so I add them and I keep the sign, negative 27. 8 times negative 6, positive times a negative is a negative. 8 times 6 is negative 48. Negative 35 divided by negative 5. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so my answer is 7. 15 plus 4, there's no trick here. It is simply 19. Next one, negative 8 plus negative 5. My signs are the same, so I add them and I keep the sign. So negative 13. Last one, same thing. My signs are the same, so I add 16 and 19, which gives me 35. And I keep the sign because the signs are the same, so negative 35 is my answer. What is the additive inverse of negative 11? The additive inverse is the same thing as the opposite. Okay? Additive inverse is not absolute value. Okay? So the additive inverse can both be positive and negative. So the additive inverse of negative 11 is 11. That concludes this review sheet. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me. And um, please send me an email or comment on this video that you have watched it. We'll see you tomorrow.